Uh, but first, we want to talk about the Zen phone. Mm -hmm. You've been actually using the Zen phone alongside. I have. I can officially it. say so. I've been using this for about two weeks now. Yay. Feels kind of cool. Somebody else, baby. <laughs> Somebody well else. I, I want to preface this by saying also, this is the first non-Pixel phone I've used since the Pixel. Three. The three is when I switched wow. to the Pixel lineup, and I've only used Pixels since then. So this is a fairly close to stock Android phone. Yes. How have you been finding the Zen Phone 10? I will start it by saying I really appreciate. Oh, you have all the fun colors. I was just too. showing the colors. Yeah. What five colors this time? <laughs> yeah, five colors: blue, white, black, green, red. Yes. Yeah. Blue's hot. Blue is hot, and by hot I mean really subtle. It's really cool, actually. Red yeah. is really quite That's bright. Warm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like it. The green I, is like a like bright pine green. Yeah, I've been using the green. I think we kind of were wondering if which one's going to fade the worst. Because remember the Zenfone 9 had like yeah. fade, terrible fading. I do think this back material is going to not fade as bad. They yeah. said they made the material better from last year, right? Yes. Yeah. Actually, I'll they just... said that. Yeah, so I'll start and with I, just my like summary of the phone, okay, yeah, which yeah. is... I love the Zenfone 9, shamelessly. Like yeah. It's one of my favorite phones ever. It Me won too. my small phone of the year last year. And I could only really come up with maybe two nitpicks about that phone. One is it didn't have wireless charging. Right. They added it to this phone. Mm -hmm. So it's got 30 watt, 30 watt wired, 15 watt wireless. Boom. They did that. Epic. The other nitpick was the back material just like faded so hard. I had a red phone within a month. Keep in mind, you own a phone for years. Within a month, my phone was like dark and yeah. used looking. Like yeah. really Patinaed. used. But, yeah. <laughs> but not thinking, in a good way. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm thinking like after a year, two years, three years, this phone's going to look crazy. Yeah. I mean, it probably bottoms off after a while, but that was, <laughs> that was a legit nitpick I had. Um, this phone still feels kind of the same like it's a soft it's nice. touch it's mm -hmm. it's got a little texture to it but they told me it's a different material so i said oh okay it's a different material it hopefully is a better aging more durable material and so far that's felt like it's held up to be true as well so i no longer have anything negative to say at all about this phone that's it crazy. literally just yeah. has like the tiniest littlest <laughs> nitpicks for me but yeah, this phone is incredible that, i mean that's kind of how i feel i those two things i agree with I said the wireless charging was a deal breaker for me, and I was like, man, if this had wireless charging, now it does. I would use it, and here we are. I'm mm -hmm. using it. And I do agree. I have I mean, I take this to the climbing gym. It gets chalk all over it. I throw it on the ground. I've seen very little wear on the back of it, and the green's really light, so I feel like it could show wear very yeah. easily. Mm -hmm. I was hoping I had it with me on you know, some hiking over the last week, <laughs> but I didn't, um, so I didn't get to see if it got that dirty from there. For um, those of you out of the loop, <laughs> Andrew, I said was on vacation when we recorded last week, but then his flight got canceled, and now it's a different yeah. time. It was terrible. So he's back. It was rough. He's back. We're rescheduling it, but <laughs> but we're back. I'm happy to be here. Yeah. And um, but yeah, so so far, like you said, I've loved it. It has wireless charging. The size I'm getting used to because I'm not used to something small. Which I think, let's take a minute. We were arguing about this beforehand. What did you well, say? Someone said on on YouTube or right. what? what so it, there was a lot of comments. Um, I don't know if it was from your tweet when it got announced or something, but uh -huh. a lot of people are saying like this is a misconception. This is not a small phone. We are talking about relative to any other, mostly phone, any other Android phone you can get right now. It's like one of the smallest ones, specifically. With flagship specs. It is definitively, definitively, I'm pretty sure I can say it's definitively the smallest phone with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. Yeah. And it is definitely the smallest flagship phone you can get that yeah. doesn't fold in half. The iPhone SE is technically slightly smaller, yeah. uh, but that's not a flagship phone. As someone who's used a lot of phones too, like when I type on this phone, the keyboard feels a little bit small sometimes. I agree. Do you have it? Wait, wait. Before we go forward, yeah. I also think one of the complaints of that, though, was comparing it to the iPhone mini. When it is closer, it is closer to the size of a regular iPhone than the iPhone mini, but it was being compared to that just because it is one of the smaller Android devices. Sure. The iPhone is a smaller iOS device. The iPhone mini, That's which is no longer was. made. Yes. When it was out, it was, by a landslide, the smallest flagship phone you could get. Yeah. Um, Currently, it yeah. is small. Is what we're trying to say. It is a small yes, phone. It is yes. a small phone. It is my front runner for smallest, best small phone of the year again right now. Do you think uh, this would be a front runner for just overall best phone of the year? So here's or, where it gets or interesting. Best value. So I think yes for best value. Mm -hmm. uh, Six ninety nine, right? Yes, the same same price Crazy. as last year. Mm -hmm. Awesome, Crazy. awesome value. Literally incredible battery life. Yeah, really good cameras. I think in order to be like an overall MVP best phone, 
it's a little more blurry. Like I, I think you could argue on impact or on overall like sentiment about a phone. Yes, it's right there. Uh, but I would also want slightly better cameras. I would want you know like slightly. I dig the so cameras. So I think the cameras are good, uh -huh. but I think they're B plus to A minus good. Where the absolute cream of the crop, the S twenty three Ultras, the ones that have a telephoto camera, yeah. the iPhone fourteen Pros, the Pixel Pro, those the are going to be oh, those are going to be a bit better. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, it yeah. doesn't have a telephoto. I think that's just one thing it's <clears throat> lacking, and it's a small phone, and that would be a lot of room to take up. But it's not like a flagship camera system. It's right underneath one, so it's not going to be the best phone of the year but it is good at everything it does yeah it also has a headphone jack it uh, on the top i just want to do a quick rundown of like what's inside this phone right yeah snapdragon 8 gen 2 wireless charging it's 5.9 inches mm -hmm. 144 hertz ip68 headphone jack 30 watt charging like very durable it's got basically everything that anyone ever asked for and the fact that the battery life is so good Stupid. when, it, when it it's a small no phone sense. so i'll it's say crazy. for my battery life I, it's the middle of the day. I'm at 47%. Uh -huh. That's because I haven't charged it since yesterday morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. Wow. It really is. I'm a day and a half Holy in it, almost crap. half battery. You said 144 hertz. I will mention it is almost never 144 hertz. Okay. So you can put it at auto and it will go up to 144 hertz mm. only when Game Genie has told it that it is playing a game that can take advantage of 144 Not even on like the home screen? Not only, yeah, Does it's it do 120, 120 all the time. Well, I don't care. So it's, mo it's, just, <laughs> just, it's just like it, they yeah. get to say 144 on the press yeah. materials, but mm. it's 120 most I mean, of the 120 time. is perfectly fine. It's great. That's a so great photo. Sweet. This is low yeah. light at Coney Island the other That's night. A That's a really good picture. Killer low light photo. Yeah. yeah. Asus, I was very impressed. I l I've always really liked Asus's cameras, even when I did like the Zenfone 5 or 6 review way back in the day. Yeah. They don't lean super hard into like computational photography HDR stuff, which I think is a strong suit for them because yeah. it gives them a little more contrast. They're a little sharper. There's less noise reduction. Yeah. yeah. They keep they're, simple. They're I think they're, they do well in the test every year as well. Like, yeah. It is potentially one of the top four or five phones in this blind or it get like gets knocked out by the winner and yeah. puts up a fight against it which is i think a lot of people would argue like oh so okay why is it not one of the best flagship cameras it still has to compete with ultra wide still has to compete with telephoto still has to compete with video it, has it no does telephoto. have it has no telephoto it does have really really great stabilization right which should be obvious if you look at the giant Dude, camera module almost the to the table. point where it's like it's like too finicky about being like no no you weren't perfectly still maybe you should take that picture again and i'll look at it and be like that looks totally fine but yeah. now i'm worried about it um i remember i just remember walking around just taking like handheld video just like normal not thinking too hard about it and i played it one played it back it was just like normal 4k 30 not even the super smooth mode and it was just remarkably smooth and i was like this is as good as i'd want it it's wow. really good yeah, six nine, no. and I I still am like, how did they get the six ninety nine price point? It's crazy. That's so crazy. So it's not gonna sell well. This yeah. is my thing. Is like, and, yeah. and actually, Aaron he made a video where most of his video was about how this phone won't sell well, and I kind of tend to agree. Uh -huh. But I am so happy that ASUS has continued to spend on and make money, or to to make the effort to make this phone yeah. good and small because it takes extra work and extra engineering to fit it in a small space and still make it so good. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's going to be in the U.S. this year. They're actually going to launch it quarter three, epic. which is cool. I don't know if it's going to be in a bunch of carrier stores or maybe just one or two. That would be nice. But yeah, it's it's not going to oversell the big screen because what do people like buying? Big screen. Big screen. So Yeah. I don't know. Claire's using an S10e, and she was like, I want this as my next phone. S10e is a really good parallel, because yeah. this also has the fingerprint reader power the button. Jack. It really is. Oh, my God. This stays is the, the S10e. Home. Yeah, stays with the headphone jack. Yeah. Uh, does the S10e with also cool have the corner hole punch cutout? Yeah, 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 yeah. Remember the um, yeah. Big Hero 6 wallpaper we that's used? That's exactly it. Yeah. Yeah. So that that's a good, I think that that's is a good, good parallel. Point. Yeah. Um, but overall... Love it. It's getting, I, it took me a little while to get used to a smaller phone because I've always used bigger ones. Um, my tiny gripes are the fingerprint sensor I miss under the screen just because when I grab it with my left hand, even though I've used my pointer finger as a fingerprint unlock, it's not great at mm. figuring that out. Mm. Um, and then it has that like side swipe thing you can use, but you can only launch apps in it in floating windows, which I just what? like let me open a full oh. side. A full screen app from that because so I like it. It's like a quick, it's like a one handed mode. Yeah, thing, it's right? like the quick actions from the side, and you can either do like settings uh, 
toggles on it or, or also apps, apps but, but they're only always windowed mm -hmm. so then you have to open it and then like click the big button because i hate using windowed apps on a phone Got there's it. just not my on an already small phone i don't know maybe phone. the idea is that it's sort of like arc where you're like opening a window temporarily and then you're closing it quickly exactly. i think like, like the best version would be like you're you have an app already and you're like i need to throw the calculator app up and do it really quick and then like click out of that's kind of cool. and that that makes sense it's a cool idea i just don't love yeah, it. I I, too. If, if it was full screen that seems like a really simple addition nice. it could do would be yeah. awesome to be able to do that every time yeah. we like toggles we, yeah. add toggles like it, what was the um the, the pixel, the fold, pixel thing? fold thing yeah, it's the same give thing. me the option to have a separate layout yeah. on the inside and outside just a just a toggle yeah just a toggle. doesn't have to be on by default just let me toggle it yeah yeah, yeah. we like android because it's customizable like same those are it. simple ones we <laughs> like toggles yeah. yeah toggle me moral of the story <laughs> <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching this clip. Uh, we were talking about a whole bunch of different social media stuff on this episode. So now I feel like it would be appropriate. As you like this video, we should we should figure out what that action is on every other social network. So on YouTube, it's a like. On Reddit. Reddit upvote. Upvote. Twitter, it's a like. Twitter, it's oh. a like. It used to be a fave, which it is on Mastodon as a fave. Okay. Mastodon is a fave. A T2 is a T2. Is that a T2? Or is that what happens still, when you T2? Yeah, it's still a like. I think it's, it's still a like. like it. oh. What's Facebook? Blue Sky? On Facebook, it's a, that's the classic. That's the classic, yeah. classic like. like. So Blue Sky. Blue Sky. Uh, what it's it? a heart, but I think it's also a like. It's probably a like. I don't Instagram? think it has a name. On Instagram, they removed it so you don't know. It it's just also says, a heart. Many it's people like. liked this. Oh, it's a like It's still a like. It's still a like. Yeah, I guess. That's, That's a true. lot of likes. But also a lot of data. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, thought. that's a lot of smarts, but also a lot of data. <laughs> Bingo. Let's go. Bingo. Uh, <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay. Well, All right. thanks, guys. Yeah.